Hey everyone, uh, it's Clayton here, and today I'm just going to be making a quick video on my uh, setup for my agamas. So these are clown painted agamas. Uh, they are still, uh, like, these guys are probably like a sub adult size. Um, yeah, this is just going to be a pretty basic video. So all I have is uh, I'm using the crushed walnut for a, uh, a base. You could probably use sand. I just use a crushed walnut because I find it's not as dusty and it uh, doesn't, every time that I go to scoop it up, it doesn't uh, like make all the sand start flying in the air and then gets dust everywhere. And uh, as long as they're a decent size, you shouldn't really have to worry about impactions. And I feed them from a bowl as well, so that uh, they don't eat. They they may get some sand in them, but for the most part, they're not going to get a lot. Uh, and then I just have a basic hide over here, um, and then a water bowl, which is uh, one that like works by magnets. Uh, I don't know, yeah, pretty basic. Uh, so what you're going to want is a hide, uh, a water dish, but you're going to want to spray them. I also spray these guys because they like it and uh, some of them won't drink from the water bowl. They do seem to uh, sit in it quite a bit and that they also will uh, absorb moisture up through their vent. So even just sitting in the water bowl will uh, hydrate them. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So what what I have is just a basic uh, log here, and the bulb that I'm using is a uh, Excoterra uh, Solar Glow 160 watt right here. And these bulbs, that's a lot of people I seen like on PetSmart.com. Tons of people uh, say that they're no good, but these bulbs are amazing. They last for up to three years. I'm using mine on 12 hour cycles, so uh, you can use them on lower, but I just personally use it on 12 because they'll go in their hide if they don't want to bask anymore. Um, and I used it, and they should start basking more and more as they get more used to it because they've only been in here for a few days now. I also have it, uh, I've been using the bulb on my beardies, and it's the exact same bulb, and I've had it for probably about, uh, I'd say at least about three or four months now. and. Uh, it works great. The only problem is, a lot of people, uh, I guess they think it burns out, but it doesn't actually burn out when you turn it off. You have to, if you turn it off when it's warm, I'll do it right now. As you can see, here's the thing, a switch. When you turn it off, and you go to turn it back on, it won't turn back on. But what you have to do is wait for it to cool down. It'll take approximately 10 minutes or so. And then uh, after it's cooled down, you'll be able to turn the light back on, because as you can see, the light's not turning on at all. That's just how I turned it off. Uh, I'll actually turn off this video and come back in 10 minutes and turn it back on and the light will actually turn back on. But what you're gonna need to do is make sure that you either unplug the light or turn it off and then turn it back on because the light just won't come on. Actually, I'm, I can't guarantee that. It may just come back on by itself. Actually, I guess I can just try. I'm gonna set that down. But I know for a fact that if you turn it off or unplug the light and wait 10 minutes, it'll come back on. But uh, I'm just going to leave it on and see if it comes back on automatically. If it doesn't, then that's probably one of the reasons why a lot of people are bitching. But uh, if you figure it out, if you just wait the 10 minutes and then turn it back on, it'll turn on. And these bulbs last forever. They're, uh, I believe, mercury vapor bulbs. And they are self-ballast, so, yeah, I don't know, they're just, you just throw them right into the, uh, the regular heat lamp thing you can buy. Uh, the large one, I paid $34 from this from uh, Big Al's. And uh, it's like the super uh, large dome that will actually have, house the bulb and give you some extra uh, space so that you don't need to cut the screen or anything. And uh, yeah, I don't know, that's about it. So I'm gonna be back in 10 minutes and uh, I'll try turning the, well, the light back on. And well, I guess I'll just come back and see if it's turned on by itself. And if it hasn't, then, I don't know, I'll still show you or whatever, okay? So, yeah, that's about it. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so, I actually left it on, and it does actually just turn on by itself. If you just leave it and uh, wait for, like, I don't know, 5, 10 minutes or whatever it was, uh, the light will just turn on by itself. So, uh, so I just feed these guys crickets and uh, super worms. You can also feed them uh, greens, but my guys won't eat it. I've put it in many times and they won't even touch it. So I just feed them uh, crickets and super worms. You can feed them stuff like kale and dandelion greens and I don't know, there's probably some other stuff that you can feed them as well, but uh, for the most part I don't feed them that because they don't eat it. So you can try feeding them if you want, uh, but I just don't because they won't eat it. Um, 
And then for the bulb, all I do is just place it on top and then have the log on a uh, angle so that they can go higher and lower on the uh, to get more heat and less heat. And they can also go down here. And then on this side, I have absolutely nothing. I don't have any heat mats on the bottom or anything. Uh, on this side, this is their cool side. So if they're too hot from over here, they can just move over here and cool down. On average, my house is probably about 24. So like the base temperature I keep them at would be around 24 degrees. They can go higher. My house goes all the way up to like 26 sometimes, 26 degrees Celsius. Um, and then for the light, they will just uh, adjust their temperature themselves by going up and down the log and moving on the sand or wherever they want to bask. So for the most part, I wouldn't even recommend checking the temperature of the heat. You can if you want though, because if it's too hot, they'll just, they will just won't ever bask. And then if they're doing that, you most likely know that it's too hot for them. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's pretty much it. My tank is uh, 36 by 12 or, I mean, I don't even know, something like that. Something, no, I think it's like 36 by 18. And then uh, I may upgrade them to like a 46 one. That's recommended. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's about it. I have a bunch more stuff on the way. I got a new Ambelobi Panther Chameleon. I got a bunch of new stuff, so I don't know. I guess I'll be making more videos. And I also have some... Uh, Hopefully I'm going to be getting some Senegal chameleons, some barking tree frogs, some uh, uh, toad head agamas, and what the hell else was I getting? Oh yeah, green plum basilisk, which is like the Jesus Christ lizard. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, that's about it. So thanks for watching and comment, rate, subscribe. If you guys have any questions, be sure to post them and... I can answer them or someone else can and yeah that's about it so yeah thanks for watching.